Man UTD Team News. Eric Ten Hag could make two big changes for the Premier League trip to Newcastle. Manchester United will have to be at their best to achieve a sixth win in seven Premier League games against Newcastle United tonight. Eric Ten Hag's side may be the top flights form side, but they are the underdogs at St. James Park, where many teams have been blown away this season. The Dutchman will likely make two changes against Eddie Howe's injury-stricken outfit following Champions League disappointment in midweek. Express Sport runs through how United could line up on Tyneside, where three points would move them within one of the top four. Goalkeeper, Onana. All the talk has surrounded Andre Onana after his disastrous performance in Wednesday's 3-3 draw at Galatasaray. But Ten Hag has strongly defended his £47 million goalkeeper, suggesting he has no plans to drop him for Alte Bayendir against Newcastle. Defence, Juan Basaka, Maguire, Lindelof, Shaw. United were wide open in Istanbul, but it's difficult to see Ten Hag making any changes to his defence as he searches for consistency. Aaron Juan Basaka versus Anthony Gordon promises to be box office viewing while Luke Shaw has been a welcome returnee after injury. Maguire is currently ahead of Rafael Varane in the right-sided centre-back pecking order and should start an 11th consecutive game against Newcastle. With Johnny Evans still absent and Varane seemingly out of contention as a left-sided centre half, Victor Lindelof's place should also be safe. Midfield, Maynou, McTominay, Fernandez. Ten Hag is keen to manage Kabi Mainu's workload after he stole the show in his first Premier League start last weekend at Everton. He introduced him as a substitute at Galatasaray but could be tempted to put him back in his starting lineup, dropping Safian Amrabat to the bench. Scott McTominay scored his first Champions League goal in midweek and seems an undroppable fixture in Ten Hag's plans as of late. Bruno Fernandes also spectacularly found the net in Istanbul and will captain the side as usual against Newcastle. Attack, Rashford, Garnacho, Hoyland. Antony produced one of his best performances in a United shirt against Galatasaray. Which has left Ten Hag with a big decision this weekend. Will he stick with his £85 million man or reintroduce Marcus Rashford, who was absent in Turkey through suspension? The likely answer is he will reluctantly drop Anthony back to the bench and start two of the front three that cruised past Everton 3-0 at Goodison Park. Alejandro Garnacho is a certain starter, having scored two great goals in his last two games, with Rasmus Hoyland replacing Anthony Marshall as his search for a first Premier League goal continues. 